else today we have a redmi 5 plus and it's using a fake rom okay, you can see it has five digits of rom and for the official rom it's only using four digit okay so we want to unlock this phone by using a test point plus a chinese rom unlock bootloader and then plus the global rom okay so stay tuned and check it out Okay, hello guys, Assalamualaikum Again with Tom Bob Okay, today we have a Xiaomi Redmi 5 Plus With the code name is Vince And like the intro set, it's using the fake ROM Okay, maybe some of you guys will ask So, uh Why, why about the fake ROM? Okay, just for information Uh, fake ROM, it means that it's not official ROM from Xiaomi so you cannot unlock the pawn uh from the me unlock <laughs> and also from the passport okay until you change the rom into the chinese rom then you can unlock both other this pawn and flash the global rom or a custom rom okay basically this pawn is sold just for the chinese mainland but some dealer have converted into the Fake ROM, okay. So it will not receive any Xiaomi update, or you can unlock the pawn until <coughs> you flash it with the Chinese ROM, okay. So uh, for flashing the Chinese ROM, you, you have to remove the cover and make a test point for the pawn, okay. Okay, let's turn off the pawn and let's try to <coughs> uh, do a test point. Okay. Okay, so we have uh, already turned off the pawn and remove the back case. Okay, for removing uh, for removing the back case, you can check out the tutorial it's very simple just make sure you move the sim card okay okay so guys uh in here i have uh, several stock room for the pins a good base and array base okay you can try both of them uh i'm going to use the nugget version as you can see i have uh, two version <coughs> the ROM, the Chinese, you can see the back from the file is underscore CN, it means Chinese, and then this is the global one. Okay, I will provide the, the link. So, just open the file and extract. Okay, I have extract in here, and we're going to try to flash uh, using the Mi Flash. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is you need to uh make a test point for the pawn. Okay, uh <coughs> so this is the back cover of Redmi 5 Plus and you should find a pin set or something like this that had have a sharp <coughs> that uh have a sharp point hey like this and then make test point of uh, two dots the pawn okay guys so let's continue i have make a test point of the pawn mm. using my pin set i have uh <coughs> connect the two dots and then plug the usb cable okay after that it will read the port okay the key loader okay we'll switch the screen 
Oh yeah, you can see in here in the device manager. I uh, will you will see another port in there. The Qualcomm HS test USB key loader to nine thousand and eight com one eight nine. Okay, it's mean that we have connect to the download mode. Okay, so <clears throat> the next step is copy your pad for the Chinese person. Okay, it's block and copy the pad. Okay, then open the reflash. Okay, and just paste the pad in here like this, and make sure you select the clean all option. Okay, so this is the picture of the test point. Okay, so uh, connect the two dots and then block the USB cable. You will see the port in there okay after that just copy the pad in here select clean all hit refresh you can see in there there is the same port like the device manager com 189 okay just hit the flash button and wait it usually takes times maybe about 15 and 20 minutes Okay, after that, you can unplug the USB cable and turn on the pawn. Well, let's stop this video because it takes time. We'll continue after the pawn has booted. Okay. Okay, we can see in here it's already finished. Placing the, placing the Chinese room. And it takes about... Uh, Two four six six seconds divided sixteen and it's forty one minutes. Okay, <laughs> it's quite long. Okay, so we'll close this one and we're going to try to unlock the USB cable and then turn on the pawn. Okay, for the first time after flashing using the download mode it's kind of hard you can try to unplug the power cable okay yeah. unplug it and plug it again okay now oh, it's turned on but it's still locked okay we will have to wait about 10 minutes again after it's entered the android home screen we can try to unlock the pawn okay i will turn off the spawn and let's continue after the pawn booted into the home screen now it's already done you can see here it's in the welcome screen okay just click next next and it goes to the menu okay it's a chinese rom so it's just include the chinese and chinese english and hindi language if i'm not mistaken okay yes next okay just hit next next and set up your phone okay don't forget to and set the sim card for making a new account okay and now let's go to the settings okay create your new account okay i've already created okay you can create a new one or use an x16 me account okay after you have login go to the my device right here go to the all specs and hit the me first and five times okay one two three four five okay oh, sorry you first and five times until you get a default remote okay go back 
back again <coughs> go to the additional settings developer option and then go to the me unlock status right here hit add account and device okay until <coughs> until it said that your account has been bounded uh okay you can see the message edit successfully okay it means we can unlock this pawn okay on the pawn and we're going to try the logging to the <coughs> me cloud uh, sorry me, me unlock okay that's with the screen I've already opened the account and insert your phone number and password and hit sign in. After that, it will ask for confirmation. It will send you an OTP message. Okay, let's hit it and check your phone for the code. Okay, we already have the SMS. This is the code. That's inserted to the main account. Okay. Okay, so we have already logged in. You can see right here. And let's turn off the pawn and go to the fast put mode. Okay, so we have turned off the pawn and let's go to the fast boot mode by pressing the volume down and the power button. Okay, now we are in the fast boot mode. Let's use again the screen. And I want to uh, extract the global firmware first. Okay, let's use this one. Uh, okay, I can always use the Ori one. Okay, this is the global. Let's open it. And extract the file. Okay. You can see from the name Vince underscore global. Okay, let's open the unlock tools. And let's first check the bootloader status. You can see right here. Uh, it's fins and the device unlock status is still false okay let's try to unlock it you can see in you can also see in here the Facebook serial number and the status unlock okay just hit the unlock button <coughs> Okay, now <coughs> the status is changing from lock into unlock. It means that we have successfully unlocked the pawn. Okay, let's try out and close this one. Let's open it again. Uh, sorry, open the power shell and type the same command. Okay, you can see now the pawn has been unlocked from false to true. Okay, we're in still in the fast boot mode and let's try to flash the global version okay let's open it now i'm going to flash using the command prompt okay just right 
click on the blank space right here and select open Windows Terminal or PowerShell okay and just type plus hit tab for autocomplete and hit enter okay now it's placing the uh placing the global firmware okay i'll stop this video and we'll continue after it's finished now it's already finished placing the global firmware and we'll wait until the pawn is put it into the android home screen okay i will stop this video and let's continue when it's already already in the home screen okay it's already finishing the former flashing now let's switch to the one it will ask for <clears throat> show me uh, for the micloud password okay just connect to the wi-fi or data sim card data okay and insert your password when you're creating the account Okay, <clears throat> now it is, it is in the Android wizard, just hit next, you can see now it has lots of language, okay, because we are using the global version, okay, just hit next, next, okay, I will skip this video, because it will save times. Okay guys, so now we are in the under the home screen. Okay, let's check it out. Let's go to the settings. And you can see now we are using the global version of the ROM. Okay, the global firmware. We are using the Mi Global 11. 11.0.2.4 okay this is for gigs it means that it is the official official rom not the fake rom like we used before okay let's activate the developer option hit the new version five times okay go back again let's find the additional settings and developer option <clears throat> let's go to the main unlock status and you can see now the device is unlocked okay so there you go we have completed the tutorial okay so we have changed the <clears throat> the fake rom the five digit fake rom doing a test point flash a chinese from unlock bootloader the pawn and then flash the global version okay and after this you can always use the global version one or using the custom rom the xiaomi ui version or the ui spay like nusantara pixel experience and etc okay so that's all guys i hope this video helps you to unlock your pawn from the fake rom and if you like this video please give it a thumb and i also have a last video about custom rom and routing please check my other video in my channel okay have a last video about xiaomi samsung and realme pawn and etc okay if you subscribe it will make me excited to make a new video okay thank you guys have a nice day wassalamualaikum